SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants was released on October 19th, 2005, and it was a party game that comprised of a collection of mini games similar to that of Mario Party, but that's not the version I'll be reviewing. The version I will be talking about is the p PC port, which, like other PC SpongeBob games, was a point and click adventure game. I choose this version to see if it held up all these years later or if I have grown out of liking it. For the anniversary of the popular show, The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, the city of Bikini Bottom decides to create a new episode with the introduction of a brand new villain, the Sneaky Hermit. In the console version, the main cast compete to play as the Sneaky Hermit, while in this version, it is up to Spongebob to recruit actors to play all the characters in the episode. I think the best way to describe the graphics is awkward. It has drawn backgrounds, which on their own look good, but they seem out of place with the 3D models placed on top of them. The models for both the characters and items just stick out and just don't look right. Having said that, the models on their own look perfectly fine, but again, just don't work when on placed on a drawn background. This is your classic point-and-click adventure game format, which was common with PC SpongeBob games at the time. You'll explore Bikini Bottom, talk to characters, receive tasks to complete, and play some mini-games along the way. The game is played entirely with the mouse. You can click on where you want SpongeBob to go, as well as the objects you want him to pick up, and the people you want him to talk to. Although in some mini-games, you will have to control Spongebob by dragging the mouse as opposed to clicking. There are 18 areas within the four sections of Bikini Bottom to explore. All areas are straight from the show from familiar buildings such as the Krusty Krab and Sandy's Tree Dome, to the vast wilderness of the Kelp Forest, or even to prehistoric times. This game is easy. Too easy. The tasks are basic and don't require much thinking while the minigames are not challenging in the slightest. In the end, it doesn't take much to finish the game and unlock all the actors. The music tracks are generic and it doesn't help that they are very short, but having said that, I would say that there is one place where the game's music shines and it's not where you expect it to be. There are some tracks for creepy areas, but that do their job a little bit too well. If you want to hear what I mean, the area tracks are Prehistoric Bikini Bottom, The Flying Dutchman Ship, and The Man Ray Close-Up. As a kid, I remember loving this game, but returning to it now as an adult, I don't feel the same way. It's way too easy, and the unskippable text makes the game drag on for way too long. The tasks are too simple to complete, and the minigames feel needlessly tacked on. Overall, I cannot recommend the PC version of Lights, Camera, Pants. If the game were a little more fast-paced and the tasks were more difficult, maybe, but as it is, it's not worth getting, or if you're like me, replaying to see if it held up, because unfortunately it doesn't. Thanks for watching.